Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Calvin Johnson. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an alternative user's principal name surface to an active directory domain environment. So let's say you have a non-routable um, name you want to add or a domain name you want to add to your domain server. So let me show you how to do just that. First of all, if I go to my Active Directory, here you can see I have some users. If I click on the Simon John and I go to Accounts, you can see that the user's logon name is simon.john and the user's principal logon name, which is the domain is uh, the user will be logged on to, is the privateictless.be. So if I want to add a different domain, that that domain should be available here, also should be accessible for that user to actually use that domain. How should I, how am I going to do that? So what you need to do is, let me go to my server manager and then click tools. So in tools here, you need to click the active directory domain and trust and when i click the active directory domain and trust let me just expand this a little bit or enlarge this and then click right click on the or active directory domain and trust and then click properties here in properties i'm going to add that domain name so let me just add kelv global dot com so click add so i'm going to click apply click ok so if I go back again to my Active Directory and double click on Simon John, you can see, uh, I think I'll need to do a refresh, well, just, just a moment, let me try to refresh, do a refresh, and I go back to my users, account, and I click Simon John, account, you can see, I now have that, um, the domain name I just added as an uh, available domain name which this user can as well use to log on. So I can actually change this. You can see that the user now has a different domain logon name and I click apply, and click OK. So mind you, if you are actually trying to sync your office, your on-prem with your Azure AD Connect and you have a routable domain name which you bought from like from a domain provider so you want to add it to your um on prem so that the users should be able to use that account to access your office 365 environment so i think you can actually use this so when your um, domain is being synced to your office 365 you can assign license office 365 e5 or e3 license to that user's account and the user will be able to use this account to to log on to your devices or to join well, Windows 10 devices to Microsoft Intune or to Office 365 as your active directory. My name is Kelvin Johnson. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. And please, if you have any comment or you have any question, you can always send me a personal email and I'll reply to you as quick as possible. My mail will be, I'll, I'll leave, I'm going to leave my mail in the description below of this video. And also, you can also leave a comment and I'll also try my possible best to reply to that comment as quick as possible. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. Hope to see you next time. Bye.